Hello, we're Buckle Up. My name is Azan Khan, and our group consists of Jake O'Donnell, Caden Hawkinson, Aman Kalwani, and Emily Stedner. So seven years ago, I was in the passenger seat of my aunt's Honda minivan. I was nine years old, and we were driving to the local pool. My five- and seven-year-old cousin were in the back seat buckled up, or so we thought. Midway through the car ride, we heard a click, and then it happened. My five-year-old cousin easily unbuckled his seatbelt and began to cause a commotion in the back seat. As a result, he became a distraction for my aunt, who was driving. My aunt began to shout at him to sit in his seat and buckle his seatbelt, but obviously he didn't listen. He stayed unbuckled and continued to cause a commotion. Finally, my aunt turned around and attempted to put my cousin back into his seat. However, as she turned, her eyes were taken off the road, and as a result, we almost crashed into the car in front of us. Now, this car ride experience and other car rides across the U.S. can go differently using our product Buckle Up. Buckle Up is an easy-to-use silicone cover which goes over the seat belt buckling mechanism as shown in the images. It prevents children ages 5 to 8 from unbuckling their seat belt. As shown in the image on the right, this is our product that is 3D printed and goes over the seat belt. In the future, however, we plan to make our product out of silicone as the one depicted in the image on the right is simply a prototype. So our unique value propositions of our product is that it's easy to use as it is easy to apply to a seatbelt. Unbuckling does not require an item as our competitors not only use plastic, but also to unbuckle their seatbelt. There's a certain attachment that comes with the seatbelt. However, to make this more clear, our competitors will be covered in a later slide. Finally, our product is affordable as it is slightly cheaper than our competitors price point per seatbelt cover. So concerning our competitors, our two main competitors include Buckle Roo and Buckle Guard. Buckle Roo is the green buckle cover depicted in the image, and it is a direct competitor as it solves the problems in the same, in the same way that we do, as their cover goes over the seatbelt buckling mechanism. However, it can also be considered an indirect competitor because it is plastic instead of our, instead of our silicone product, and unbuckling is carried out using a key, as shown in the image, as the little opening above the buckle roo, uh, the buckle roo writing is where the attachment would be used to unbuckle the seatbelt. And our other competitor, Buckle Guard, is our direct competitor as it uses a seatbelt cover which is silicone. However, like Buckle Roo, it can be considered an indirect competitor as unbuckling is carried out using a key or accessory rather than simply pressing down on the buckle cover like our product, Buckle Up, has. Now, we plan to sell this product on both indirect and direct channels. The direct channel would be our landing page, which is up and running at the moment. Uh, the image on the right is or shows the first part or the opening image of our landing page. And our indirect channel that we plan to sell on is Amazon, as not only is it easy to get our product on Amazon and sell our product on Amazon, but also our competitors are using Amazon. So why should the why should our customers pay for our product? Well, first of all, one unit of revenue is two seatbelt covers, and we our price point is twenty dollars for two seatbelt covers and because of this price point we would be able to undercut our competitors also our competitors should pay because our product is silicone unlike our, some of our competitors and it is affordable and cheap furthermore not only is a product easy to apply to a seatbelt but it's easy to use once it's on the seatbelt buckling mechanism so we actually conducted a survey um, around two to three months ago and we found that 33 percent of people would pay for our product at a price point of thirty dollars however later we reduced the price to twenty dollars and as a result of reducing our price point we assume that even more consumers will buy our product at the price point of twenty dollars finally my group and I pitched a minimum viable product test to a group or board of investors and we asked for four hundred dollars uh, these four, this four hundred dollars would be used to create prototypes, upgrade our current landing page, and also create an explainer video. In the end, we received the four hundred dollars and are currently creating our minimum viable products. So thank you for your time, and remember that things go better when you are buckled up.